Hello scholars, it's Miss Seipel from Arte Athenaeum. And today we're going to talk about regrowth of food. Regrow food, what? How can you do that? It can be done. Now we're not talking about ice cream or potato chips. We're talking about real food. Foods such as vegetables or fruits. You can also regrow celery. That's one of my favorites. I had a bunch of celery, I guess you would call it. And so I was gonna make soup. So I cut that off and then I ended up with the bottom, which I would have normally just thrown away. I don't need that, right? Well, since I was studying for this lesson, I was thinking, ah, oh, I bet I could grow celery. And when I looked through my directions, I could grow celery. I didn't know. So I cut it off and I stuck the bottom part that I was gonna throw away into a jar and added a little bit of water to it. And voila, you wanna see what I have? I'm gonna show you the whole thing, so I'm gonna pick it up. Look at this. Can you imagine? That's what it looks like. So you can see where the stalks were. Isn't that interesting? Look at how big that is. And that's really been about four or five days. Not bad at all. And then the bottom. So when you would go to plant this, which I hope you will, I'm going to try it. Maybe if it grows really big on another lesson, I can show you what I got. So you take this and you just put it in water to have it begin to grow. But then now since it's grown and it's ready to be planted, I'm gonna get a pot with soil in it. You know, we've done that a lot at, at that name before, so you'll, you know how to do it. And you put it, you, you put a little bit of dirt on the bottom, then you put the plant in and you put more dirt around it. And we're gonna see what happens. So that's regrowing our food. I have another one. Does anybody know what this is? You know what that is? That's a green onion. They're so good too to eat. But these are all the roots that grew just in those four or five days. So I can just put this in the ground and it will start growing and I will have more green onions. I also tried it with a sweet potato. Now we can't really tell anything about the sweet potato right now because it's still under the ground. So eventually we'll start getting some green on top. But guess where the potatoes are coming from? Think about it. Where are the potatoes grown? Are they on top of the ground or are they underneath the ground? Put it in the comments. They're underneath the ground. So you will have one tomato plant, but you'll have many tomatoes at the bottom. And so when you pull the plant up, you'll have the tomato or potatoes there. Did I say tomatoes? I'm sorry. So you'll have the potatoes there. And my favorite is a sweet potato. And they look really pretty. They look like just a regular plant until you know there's a surprise in there. Sweet potatoes. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that with you. There is a picture. It talks about food regrows itself. So upcycle your food scraps. And then you'll see how it talks about green onions, like we did, and then it talks about celery and cabbage. So cabbage, you could be doing the same thing. You, When you cut off the bottom, you're gonna use the cabbage top, but cut off the bottom. You can put that in water, squirt it a little bit with water if you have a, a little um, squirt bottle. If you don't, I didn't have a squirt bottle, so I didn't do it, but it worked well. And then there's also ginger, which I thought would be really interesting because we go through a lot of ginger at the Cycle House. And it also grows a pretty flower on it, which I thought would be cute too. And then there's all kinds of things. What else do we have here? We have garlic, which I like garlic too. We have onions. Okay, I did the green onion, but this way is another maybe a yellow onion or a white onion or a red onion where you cut that bottom off. You can tell which, which part the bottom is. And then you put that in water, let it go a little bit so you can get some roots and then put it right into the pot. You don't have to wait very long for an onion to do that with. 
and then garlic we could do garlic too garlic has uh, you've probably seen it before sometimes if we let our garlic go in the cupboard it will start to grow <laughs> it will have little green coming off of it the next one is mushrooms i've never tried mushrooms and i think there are some tricks to that so just so you know about that all right the last one we'll do i talked about a potato already so it'll be pineapple pineapple would be fun so a pineapple after you get the good part of the pineapple you cut off the top this time put the top in water and then plant it in the dirt and that that seems like that would really be pretty and I would love to see if anybody does that definitely send me a picture of that because the picture that it shows that it's happening and there's an actual pineapple growing it's really neat I hope that you'll be able to use some of these ideas and grow maybe a celery maybe a green onion but send me your pictures. I would love to see it. And I will talk to you soon. Happy growing. Bye.